People who have been single for too long are the hardest to love. They have become so used to being single, independent and self-sufficient, that it takes something extraordinary to convince them that they need you in their life. Honey, whatever happened to that cute guy that you were talking to? Ghosted me. Didn't you really like that guy you met at that bar? Has a girlfriend. Aw, what about that nice guy from work? Over it. How about the kid from Jersey? Hate him. What about that one guy who's always out with you and your girlfriends? He's gay. One of you will betray me tonight. Is it me, Jesus? No. Is it me, Jesus? It's not you either. Is it me, Jesus? This is a perfect representation of modern accountability. People have become so enthralled in victimhood that no one is able to actually look at themselves and accept the fact that a bunch of the shit happening to them is because of them and their own choices. Excuse the tears. <laughs> I just had something emotional as hit me. So I was on a date last night. You didn't know the guy. We had FaceTimed like all week. So like I was familiar with him. And we had a pretty good connection. So we meet up, have a great time. And he's doing a lot of the talking. And I'm just listening, which is fine. Sometimes I don't want to talk. And I interacted, you know, we, I went back and forth and whatnot. And he's like, well, you know, I've been doing a lot of talking. You know, why don't you tell me a story? You know, open up a little bit about yourself. And I didn't know what to say. Like, this guy had all these cool stories of, like, riding motorcycles and, like, street bikes and, like, doing wheelies. Like, he had a more adventurous last five years put it that way okay and what i've been doing the last eight years is i've been just a mom <laughs> i've been a mom is she really just sitting there complaining about being a mom imagine being this woman's child growing up to see that your mother was online complaining that she didn't have stories to tell because she was busy being your mother my stories if I would have told him my stories he doesn't have kids also side note there's nothing for him to relate to like my stories are you know catching throw up in a bowl because we had the stomach bug in my house a few years ago and the kids were getting sick and I just had bowls to just catch it so they wouldn't throw up on the carpet or like changing the most outrageous shit filled diapers known to mankind like no child should ever shit that much okay just saying and just doing mom things like playing outside and you know that this interestingly shows how very misled and confused these type of women are now because i'm not saying it would have won you the guy but a one would supposedly have more respect for a mother who loves her children who has so many stories to tell about how she's loving, caring, and spends her time with her children than someone who's looking for stories about how they've traveled the world, tried this, done that, and yet. And it hit me like I've lost my identity. <laughs> like the destiny 10 plus years ago was off the hook. I partied, I had a great time, I was life of the party. I mean, I still am now just in a different way. But since having kids, I don't know who I am anymore. Because all I am called is mom. Because you're a bloody mom and you should be proud of that. And it kind of knocked the wind out of me. I'm a great mom. And once my kids are older, maybe then I will be able to discover who I am and all that. But yeah, it kind of just hit me that at the end of the day, I'm just a mom. I don't get why dating is so hard these days, especially if you find somebody you like and you vibe and they feel like a match. I don't know why 
you know, it's really hard to find that. And then once you do, there's external factors of why it won't work. It sucks. It's like, I don't understand why it's so hard just to find a companion that you want to spend your time with that you enjoy. There's this guy that we like each other. It feels like we're two peas in a pod, peas and carrots, as he says. And now his mom doesn't think it's a good time for him to date because he's got two kids, as do I. It's so frustra I'm so frustrated. I'm sad. They always come back. Always. It's so fun. It is so, so fun, girls. I met a guy on Instagram. Uh, it was, I think, one year ago, something like that. We had a lot of discussions. We talked a lot, etc., etc. And one day, he met a girl and he said, okay, sorry, I will stop our discussion because I met that girl. I think she's the one, etc., etc. And I say, okay, why not? To understand, but why not? And this guy, he stopped following me on Instagram no message, he disappeared because he found that girl. Okay, six months later, like, 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 even if he doesn't follow me anymore. So that means that he choose to take a look at my Instagram and to like some photos, maybe to come back and maybe to make me a message, something like that. I don't think it takes rocket science to realize that you're a placeholder. So let me clarify. Whenever he finds something that he wants to take seriously, he goes for that. And whenever that doesn't work out, you happen to be pulled back in just to hold the place until something better comes along. It's not that he's desperate or that you're needed. You are a placeholder. Agree or disagree? Leave your comments down below and let me know what you think. And help your brother out. Hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you on the next one.